global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to Global Happenings Today YouTube channel. In what ha what looks like um, a dramatic turn of event, where the court verdict was brought out concerning the 27 lawmaker that affected in River State. I'm referring to those who moved from um, AP PDP to APC, and they are now seeking to come back to PDP. And there seemed to be a lot of court cases. A final verdict came out that didn't sit well with a lot of political parties, including CUPP and on the weekend and many other top politicians. And they have decided to react. Of course, many Nigerians are wondering what will be or what would the loyalists of Simfobara do to this matter or you know, move ahead over the matter. Let's find out in a moment. But before we do that, kindly subscribe to our channel. Now, opposition lawmakers, coalition under the agencies of Coalition of United Political Parties, CUPP, as I just few few hours ago rejected the federal high court judgment declaring the decampment of 27 Sachs River State lawmakers as a pre-election issue. Now, the federal lawmakers who expressed overwhelming support for Governor Similaya Fubara in a statement made available in Abuja argued that the judgment is an assault on constitutional democracy and Honorable Oko Jumbo remains the valid speaker of River State House of Assembly based on existing High Court judgment and rulings recognizing as such. And the federal High Court in Abuja on Friday dismissed a defection suit instituted again the 27 former members of the River State House of Assembly loyal to the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, yes, some Ezingo Wiki, by the Action People's Party, APP. And the suit seeking to replace the 27 lawmakers on account of their defection from the People's Democratic Party, PDP, to the All Progressive Congress, APC, was dismissed. Justice Peter Lifo, who delivered a judgment held that the suit instituted but the APP was statute barred, having not been filed within 14 days allowed by law because, in his thinking, the government of lawmakers is a pre-election issue. A judgment which will alter the interpretation of what constitutes pre-election since the government is not among the issues that constitute pre-election. But the opposition coalition lawmakers reacting at a World Press conference by its spokesperson on Rebikenga Imo Ugochinyere stated that the pro wiki lawmakers, their seats remain vacant because in line with the law, they defected to APC and are no longer members of the People's Democratic Party, PDP. He added that there are many valid rulings of high court that have restrained them from illegally parading as lawmakers and declaring Okojombo as the valid speaker of the River State House of Assembly. Ikenga said, Oko Jumbo remains the Speaker of the River State House of Assembly and they are going to appeal the ruling. The opposition considered it very strange and unknown to law that issues of decampment, which can happen anytime within the four years mandate of a lawmaker, is now being declared a pre election issue that must come within 14 days, like primary election. The Constitution recognizes issues of pre-election around prim primary election and not decampment, which can only be established once the court first rules on it, before, before the by-election can be conducted and hence can't be termed pre-election. Expressing optimism that the judgment won't survive in appeal court, the lawmakers made reference to the High Court judgment months ago barring the 27 sacked lawmakers from parading, adding that it still remains valid and has not been voided by any higher court. They added that the local government election in the state will go on on the 5th of October as scheduled and nothing can stop it as the Constitution and the Electoral Act have said no court can stop the conduct of elections. With a quote him again, say, we totally reject the Federal High Court judgment today, September 20th, declaring the decampment of 27 sacked River State lawmakers as a pre-election issue. The pro wiki lawmakers' seats remain vacant because, in line with the law, they defected to APC and are no longer members of the People's Democratic Party, PDP. It is widely known, it is widely known that these 27 lawmakers publicly decamped to APC and have at various times deposed to affidavit even in a suit at the Federal High Court in suit number 
fhc forward slash abj forward slash 1681 forward slash cs forward slash 2023 that they are now members of the apc owing to the alleged crisis in pdp okojombo is still rivers assembly speaker and this ruling will be appealed we are optimistic and nothing will stop the state governor Simnalaya Fubara from completing his tenure and even winning second term if he so pleases. The lawmakers noted. Wow, a lot of reactions have trailed this. My colleague is in the house. But it's really very funny why they're terming this a pre election, as in before the election court case. Something that was never a. a they, they had already won the elections, they have already started sitting. In their already four years mandate, it was in between the line when they started having issues, when the Fubara started having issues with his uh, Oga at the top, yes, or wicked FCT minister. Then, after which, there was now tussle of power between them. Okay, you don't want to do this, you don't want to do that. Okay, you asked me to do this, you asked me not to do that. What is all of that and all that? And eventually, the lawmakers were now giving Fubara a lot of tough time such that whatever Fubara brings. They will not accept, they will not agree. They were just making the old government look so very funny, making to the point that the likes of uh, Samuel Wano Sike looked at the whole sitting governor, called him Momo governor, because he was so calm and so quiet. He was looking as if, you know, he was a, a figurehead governor, but the real governor is somewhere else, you know, ruling by proxy and all that. Eventually, on their own volition, nobody sent the market to the decant. They woke up one morning and said, in fact, they have moved to APC. And even Yesomike was like, he did not know about this, but just to the decision. And that was where this whole thing began. And ever since then, they made it in print. They did it in uh, uh, the video. It was in print. It was in media. It was on social media. They swore half it of it. They, in fact, they were carrying APC flag everywhere. And all of a sudden, they're not saying, no, actually, you know, you know, you see, it was not so. In fact, we are still PDP members. How now? Come on, how now? To the point that when Emeka Beke came in, he told them, including the you people, to tell the makers, I want to, people, I want to see people in the meeting. They refused to come. They're neither there nor there. They don't even know if they're PDAPC or if they're APC or even they're PDP because even PDP is not rejecting them. There have been this tussle, necessary tussle going on with, amongst them. So, really, may, most Nigerians are wondering what would it But, thank God for Oko uh, uh, Ikenga, since he's going to appeal it. What's your take on this lat latest development as Ikenga had said to put himself into this drama? Well, uh, uh, this is uh, quite shocking for most of us, and uh, considering the fact that this issue has uh, a kind of underestimate would I say underestimate but kind of trivialize our constitution the provision of our constitution because this is a constitutional matter and it's already clearly spelled out in the constitution why are you down beating around the bush telling Nigerian story it was supposed to come up on the 14th uh, day uh, after that act took place and all of that it, it's quite troubling and I feel at a point like this they need to go a little bit higher in terms of, uh, you know, requesting for an appeal. But then, it, it, for me, I, I think that uh, this issue will still end up like this, considering the fact that this is wicked terrain. No matter how smart a lion is, he cannot deal with a shark inside the river. No matter what. So, wicked, and this thing is happening in rivers in, in, in Abuja. Now, you know, one state again, as a, as, as a judge, where Wiki is, you now come and give any verdict against him. It's not possible. So somehow, uh, you know, I, I we have always been told that um, the law is an ass. They can manipulate it anyhow. It's just to look at some of the loopholes inside the law and manipulate it anyhow, and it goes in favor of Wiki. So appealing it, as much as it is true, but I, I know already we can predict what will be the end product of, you know, the appeal. Hmm. All right, that's going to wrap it up. Let's meet in a